Hey guys, Carlo here. Welcome to my dedicated YouTube channel to watches. Very quick disclaimer, I am not a watch expert. This is just me chronicling my journey with discovering different types of watches and trying to enjoy this hobby as much as possible. I actually have a main channel that's all about sneakers and gadgets. So if you want to check that out, it has over 700,000 subscribers and I will link it down below. Now for today's episode, I'm super excited, super excited because we have a Philippine exclusive watch. This is the Seiko Tubataha Reefs inspired monster watch. We're limited to 1,000 pieces and it is a Philippine exclusive. So if you are a Seiko fan or if you're a watch enthusiast or a hobbyist or if you're just you know a normal guy who's not really into watches but you're looking for a really good watch in the 20,000 price range that's Philippine inspired, that's a Philippine limited release, this is it. So come with me, let's unbox it, put it on wrist, check it out, and see if it's worth buying or not. Let's go. Now I was able to get this piece from at Tokyo. They're one of my favorite watch shops here in the Philippines. They're a multi-brand shop, uh, but I do usually go to them to buy a lot of Seiko pieces like this. Again, which is a Tubataha Reefs Philippine exclusive. Now, as you guys can see, it comes in this black Seiko Prospects box. So it's not your typical cube Seiko box, which is the normal edition. Prospects line is like a step up. So it's a little bit more premium compared to your typical uh, Seikos. And if you remove the sleeve, you have another box which has some sort of like almost matte leather finish uh, kind of nice feel to it. it has seiko emblazoned at the top and if you pop the box open of course you have your manuals and you have your warranty card over here you have a foam covering the watch and then bam bam guys this is it this is the seiko philippines limited edition tubataha reefs and spa ganda talaga sorry it's a really nice watch let's take a closer look now as you guys can see it comes with the two Stone stainless steel bracelet so there's some sort of like rose gold accent in between the links which is the same color that you find for the crown of the watch and the primary colors you have some sort of like yellow or some sort of like cream gradient uh, dial over here and you have a glossy blue ip dial over here and then an accent of orange uh, with the loom pip over there at the 12 o'clock position now apart from the stainless steel bracelet it also comes uh, with this strap over here i think it's made some sort of silicone that matches the color of the bezel in terms of the crystal it uses a hard lex crystal not sapphire and then it also runs on the caliber 4 r36 movement of seiko which is automatic with manual winding and that gives you approximately 41 hours of power reserve it's also 200 meters water resistant that's roughly around 660 feet so if you are planning on diving with this watch since it is uh, inspired by the tubataha reefs then you probably can do so now in terms of diameter it's 42 millimeters so it sits actually very well <laughs> on my giant eight inch wrist so i do have big wrists i am a big guy so that's comforting for me because i usually wear uh, watches that are 42 and up i mean i can wear 40s but they still kind of look small but this one is just perfect so it's not too big it's not too chunky but it's also not too small so as you guys can see over here on wrist it looks really good i love how the color bounces off and reflects on the blue ip bezel you can see that over here and then the contrast between that yellow uh, or cream gradient dial with the blue bezel and that accent of orange at the top just looks really dope uh, and i have seen a bunch of tubataha reef inspired sneakers even uh, there was a collaboration between commonwealth which is a local sneaker shop uh, with adidas i'll put a picture somewhere here and the colors are kind of similar i think they're like the colors of the reefs that you see and the corals if you go diving so that's what they tried to reflect on the watch and 
and that's what I also saw in that particular pair of kicks. So it's nice to see some sort of consistency uh, despite uh, despite the different medium but having the same theme. Now this is a numbered piece. If you take a look at the back case, it actually says there uh, what number it is out of a thousand uh, pieces that you can get. In terms of pricing, this one I think if I remember correctly sells for a little over 20,000, maybe around 24. Can't remember the exact price, uh, but you can check it out again at, at Tokyo. It's already available starting November 6. Only a thousand pieces available here in the Philippines. So guys, make the most out of it. You're actually going to get it at a great price because if you check out all the different international websites that are currently offering it, they are selling this for over $600 or sometimes even $650 or even $700. So the international price is over 30 to 35,000 pesos, but you can actually get it for around 24-ish, 25-ish here in the Philippines. So if you want like a watch that's inspired by something Philippines, that's exclusive and limited edition to the Philippines with just 1,000 pieces, this is really a great piece. I do have one minor criticism though, just to make sure that this is all balanced out. If you guys take a look at the six o'clock marker and even some of the other markers like the four o'clock, there seems to be some sort of misalignment. So it doesn't fit perfectly well into the chapter ring. It kind of leans towards this side. So it's not perfectly in the middle. So that kind of that's kind of annoying uh, and it it, it kind of, you know, ruins the aesthetic if you take a closer look. But hey, if you don't mind that, those small little imperfections, then it, overall it's pretty good. But I, I really just have to point it out because it does kind of stand out if you take a closer look. But apart from that, man, it's a really good watch. I love the design. I love the look. I love the thinking behind it. I love the spirit behind it. And I love the fact that it is Philippines exclusive. Two thumbs up to Seiko for putting this together. Really love the watch. And again, two thumbs up to our good friends from At Tokyo. Guys, check them out. My favorite branch is over at the Podium Second Floor and Green Hills Promenade. Uh, make sure to drop by and try to get yourself uh, one of these watches. I'm sure they're going to sell out really soon. And they, the prices will probably go up afterwards. So, ba-bam! Now, before we end this short vlog, let me just give a quick shout out to a few people. Shout out to everybody from Seiko Watch Club Philippines. I'm super enjoying it in that Facebook community. If you guys are Seiko fans, uh, please make sure to, to apply to that Facebook group, Facebook community. Amazing group of people uh, loving the community there a lot. Uh, there's a lot of great moderation and uh, policing as well in the community so it doesn't get out of hand. So check them out, uh, Seiko Watch Club Philippines. Shout out to everybody there. Uh, also, shout out to everybody from At Tokyo over at the podium. That's one of my favorite branches. Uh, Kila Daisy, Kila Ricky, my boy again lahat. Uh, happy to see you guys every now and then. Shout out also to Yvette, the brand manager of At Tokyo. And with that said, that wraps up this quick vlog of the day. Let me know what you guys think of the Seiko Tubataha Reefs, Philippine exclusive, 1,000 pieces only. This has been Carlos signing out. Peace, God bless. What's up? Boom.